Ephemeral Echoes In the quiet corner of a dusty library, where the scent of aging books lingered in the air, librarian Sandra Harris stumbled upon a forgotten love letter tucked within the pages of an old novel. The delicate parchment spoke of longing, passion, and an unfinished story that had been lost to time. Intrigued by the words that seemed to leap off the yellowed paper, Sandra embarked on a journey to unravel the mystery and perhaps discover a love story of her own. The love letter, signed only with the initial M, was a window to the past, transporting Sandra to an era where handwritten expressions of love were an art form. Determined to uncover the author's identity and the story behind the heartfelt words, Sandra delved into the library's archives and historical records, losing herself in the enchanting world of a romance that had once blossomed in the shadows. As Sandra followed the faded ink trails, she found herself becoming a detective of emotions, piecing together clues from the past. Her search led her to the discovery that the letter's author, a young man named Michael, had penned his heart's desires to a mysterious woman named Evelyn. The plot thickened as Sandra found herself captivated not only by the unfolding love story on paper but also by the possibility of a modern-day connection waiting to be forged. Driven by a newfound sense of purpose, Sandra set out to find Michael and Evelyn, hoping to bring closure to their story. Her quest took her on a journey that spanned cities, historical landmarks, and hidden corners where the past whispered its secrets. Along the way, she encountered kindred spirits who shared their own tales of love and loss, weaving a rich tapestry of human connections. In the midst of her search, Sandra found herself reflecting on her own life. The love letter had ignited a spark within her heart, inspiring her to be open to the unexpected and the extraordinary. As she connected the dots between past and present, Sandra discovered that love was not confined to the pages of old letters but could be a living, breathing force waiting to be embraced. Through twists of fate and serendipitous encounters, Sandra finally tracked down Michael, now a wise elder with a heart full of memories. The reunion of Michael and Sandra unfolded like the final chapter of a cherished novel, closing the loop on a love story that had spanned decades. Yet, as Sandra looked into Michael's eyes, she realized that her own journey was far from over. In the warmth of shared stories and the glow of rediscovered connections, Sandra found herself falling in love with Michael's grandson, a kindred spirit named Benjamin. Their love story, born from the echoes of a forgotten letter, mirrored the timeless beauty of the past while paving the way for a future written in the ink of their own adventures. As Sandra and Benjamin explored the world hand in hand, the library, once a haven of forgotten stories, became a sanctuary where love unfolded across generations. The love letter, the catalyst for it all, found its place as a cherished artifact, a testament to the enduring power of love to transcend time and weave together the disparate threads of human experience. In the quiet corners of the library, Sandra and Benjamin found solace and inspiration. They spent evenings immersed in books that whispered tales of enduring love, of challenges overcome, and of the beauty that emerges when two hearts find each other. The library became a symbol of the timeless nature of their connection, a haven where the echoes of Michael and Evelyn's love story harmonized with the rhythm of their own. The old love letter, framed and displayed near the entrance of the library, became a tangible link to the past, a reminder that love stories, whether written in ink or etched in the heart, had the power to transcend generations. Sandra's journey, sparked by the discovery of that forgotten letter, 
had evolved into a tapestry of love that intertwined the threads of past and present. As Sandra and Benjamin delved into their shared passions, they uncovered more hidden treasures within the library's archives. Forgotten letters, journals, and artifacts revealed the untold stories of those who had wandered through the same aisles of literature, each leaving behind a fragment of their own journey. The library became a living testament to the countless love stories that had unfolded within its walls. In the midst of their exploration, Sandra and Benjamin stumbled upon a collection of love letters exchanged between previous librarians, kindred souls who had found companionship amidst the books. These poignant missives, preserved with care, spoke of stolen glances, whispered conversations, and the magnetic pull that drew hearts together in a space devoted to knowledge and discovery. Embracing the legacy of love that permeated the library's history, Sandra and Benjamin decided to curate a special section dedicated to the enduring spirit of romance. They invited patrons to contribute their own love stories, creating a living anthology that celebrated the diverse expressions of love found within the community. The library transformed into a haven for shared experiences, fostering connections that mirrored the timeless nature of love itself. As the years passed, Sandra and Benjamin's love story continued to unfold within the library's embrace. Their journey became a beacon of hope for those who ventured into the quiet aisles, reminding them that love had the power to transcend barriers, bridge generations, and create a symphony that echoed through the corridors of time. And so, within the walls of the library where an old love letter had been discovered, Sandra and Benjamin forged a legacy that spoke of resilience, connection, and the infinite possibilities that love could bring. As they looked towards the future, hand in hand, they knew that their story was just one chapter in the grand narrative of the library, a place where love stories continue to unfold leaving behind a trail of whispered echoes and timeless tales. The End